Before we continue tonight, I want to take a moment to recognize Baylor Center Isaiah Austin. You may have heard about Isaiah. He is one of the nation's best collegiate players and was expected to be picked tonight before the discovery just a few days ago that he had a genetic disorder called Marfan syndrome and is no longer able to play competitive basketball. So it gives me great pleasure to say that with the next pick in the 2014 NBA draft, the NBA selects Isaiah Austin from Baylor University. I really never thought about it, to be honest. Uh, I never really knew anybody who had a heart disease or who had Marfan syndrome, so I, I, it never really crossed my mind. I really didn't even research it. You know, I, I knew that it was going to stop me from playing basketball, but you know, all I did was really listen to my doctors because they're the experts on it. Am I still going to be able to, you know, do some type of physical activities? Am I still going to be able to go on and live my my life? Am I still going to be able to, you know, be healthy? Am I going to live a long life? That night I found out my pastor, Bishop Forsett, said that I was going to dream again. And that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm dreaming again, and, you know, I have a different dream now. Instead of playing in the, back, in the NBA, you know, I want to be able to inspire millions of people around this world to push through any hurdle that they have in their life. You know, it doesn't even have to deal with more fans. It doesn't have to deal with basketball. You know, it, it can deal with anything that they're struggling through. You know, I want to be that one person who can maybe say a few words to them or smile at them or shake their hand and, you know, just greet them with kindness and, and show them that, you know, with hard work and dedication and with love and the right people around you and, and courage, you can get through anything. 